Hall at Charlie Fabrication in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. We're going to do a video this morning on a couple of different cookers. This cooker here is from Mr. Jeff Neff, who had bought, this is his third cooker Jeff bought from me. This cooker here is, uh, it's sharp. I love it. Of course, this one is too. So they're just different, different looks on the cooker. This cooker here is a 24 by 50. It is an elevated cabinet model cooker, which means it's 26 inches from here to here. It's got the hill roof added, which gives you approximately I would say about three and a half to four more inches up top, but uh, you know, on the roof system, but has a hip roof on the back of the cooker right here on the warmer, which is an upgrade. Both these hip roofs are upgraded, this is the elevated cabinet. On this cooker here, you got a fold down stainless steel shelf, which is really neat and convenient because you know, if you got pans here, you can sit here and go back and forth, so it's just really a neat, neat option. It comes up. Locks has a paper towel holder here, so your towels are convenient, convenient for you to use right there. Lock. Uh, Jeff uh, brought the tail truth thermometers, big one. I would say these are five inch diameter. I would think maybe even six. I think those are five. So, but uh, on the inside of this chamber, even though this is a small chamber, short chamber, it, it, it has a lot of capacity in here. You know, you got a lot of room up top right here, and. Uh, so, you know, our grates here are made out of one by one by quarter inch steel. Jeff's got a small unit, but he has the capacity. I would say this unit would put out as much as a regular 30, uh, 24 by 70. It's 24 by 50, you know, because it has the elevated grade in it. But, uh, you know, when uh, the elevator has gas the door, they're tight. has the stainless steel shelf right here with the backsplash. So any residual you have coming out of the chamber is going to get on the shelf and you're just going to wipe it off. Very easy. This cooker has both damper systems that we developed. Has a damper from the main chamber going into the warmer and a damper from the firebox going into the warmer. So you can do a number of diff different things. This cooker also has three shelves in the warmer. Remember, standard warmer is two shelves. It's been upgraded to the third shelf. Also, it's been upgraded to it has a also a cooker that's going to have a pan in here that you can use either for a drip pan. You can use it as a deflector for the heat coming into the firebox. Or, but this here has an elevated grate in here where if you want to come out here and direct cook and grill, you can do that. You can do it in the pan, but you're just going to get better airflow under the charcoal and stuff if you have an elevated grate in your charcoal pan here or whatever. Have a heat deflector underneath there that sits about, I think it's an inch and a half off the bottom where our damper is. But that kind of chokes the heat down. If you take that out, and use this pan as a deflector, you'll even get hotter. Or some guys I know have even just taken, you know, taken a pan out. And, you know, so it depends on what you're doing. You can get that thing up really hot. You know what you're doing. Uh, gaskets on this warmer, this door here. I put gaskets on this warmer door for it. I'm going repeat cooker. I want to do something extra. It has the, uh, the new baskets we have right here. It has the steel around the perimeter. Has a double, uh, you know, double pattern down here in the bottom. You know, and down the road, if you was to ever burn that wire out, it'd be a long time. You just put some more wire in it, just lay something in there, it'd be fine. Uh, yeah, we could do a, we talked about doing a steel cutout, you know, but to me, all your charcoal's gonna fall right through. All your, you know, it's just not a good thing for me, you know, maybe work for somebody else. Here's a baffle block right here, and the ash pan right here. Really convenient. Get the ash out of here. Look here on the doors. Our, our doors are three quarter inch plate steel. Uh, heavy duty. Real heavy duty. Again, he's got the upgraded uh, tail trues right here. The auto, we will be offering this here, I think, before long. He has the Shirley logo into the uh, spare tire cover. Uh, got a wood box back here. I could be cleaning enough wood to do a couple of cooks on, you know, in this cooker here. Like I said, it's got the hip roof here on the main chamber. He has a removable stack because he had a height limit right here. He also has a removable tongue up here, which we, and it's, it's on the modified trailer, which is 53 inches outside of fenders to outside of fenders. Uh, I put two inch drains on all my cookers. That's just what I do. I think Tyler uses an inch and a quarter. I like to use two. That's what I use. Uh, again, yeah, I mean, it's, you just take a look at the cooker. I mean, you can walk all the way around and look at it. It has custom wheels that Jeff ordered for it. It's beautiful. It's just a sharp, sharp. It kind of looks like a strong cooker going down the road. It just looks like it's mean. So, 
Anyway, we'll jump off that cooker. All our cookers do have LED lighting. All our wiring is encased in this tubing right here. And uh, so you're not gonna drag it off or anything going down the road. You're not gonna hang it up on anything. And uh, if you did break a wire, there's some extra, tube, extra wire wadded up inside there that you can pull out. Okay, now we're gonna go to uh, our Webmaster cooker. This is Jeff Condon. This is a really large cooker. It is a 30 by 90 cooker is it's, it's big it's big and I'll show you in, inside in a minute cooker here has a rotating warmer has three shells in this warmer it does have the rotating warmer the thing about the 30 inch cooker they do have their setup where they can accept two full-size restaurant pans on each grate here uh, you may can get them in 24 but you have to fold the pans up a little here you will not have to do that also, it has a charcoal pan that comes out of here. Uh, you can use it as a drip pan, charcoal pan, catch you dripping, uh, put charcoal in it, cook, a number of things. Again, it has a dual system, damper system. On this rotating warmer, your dampers have to be on the back side, the very far back side of the cooker for it to work. So, Jeff also, he also has this right here, it's a low down shelf. This fold down fold, fold up. Got the wings, paratrooper rank wings right here. Jeff was in the 82nd, right? 82nd air horn. Okay? And we thank all our veterans. Mark who's feminine is a veteran. Along with Joe's, Joe's sons are veterans too, right? Were you a veteran too, Joe? Or no? Yep, I got a chop full of veterans today. Okay? Right here, huge fire basket. <coughs> See, it's going to hold a lot of wood and it's going to take some wood to run this thing. It's a very, very large cooker. Very large. It's got probe insert. And I didn't tell the probe insert before I got on Jeff. Jeff's got three probe inserts right here for it to stick his meat with. He's kind of on the side right now. I'll show you the inside of it. I always remember on cabinet doors when you swing them open. Be cognizant of the fact that you don't want to swing them into another handle or down on your fold down shelf. If you've got a fold down shelf on this side on one that's not rotated, just always know that. So you don't want to flame your door open and, and knock the paint off the cooker. So you see, you can see the capacity on this cooker. How much I don't know how much meat you can get on it. I know one thing I have to go get a lawn to get get the meat I, to buy the meat to put on it. It's gonna take a lot, it's, it holds a lot. It's gonna hold a lot of meat. So you see uh these are one by one by quarter grates, three quarter number nine wire. Some guys ask about stainless grate. We don't do stainless grate because economically it's very, just say if I paid $60 for a four by eight sheet of this uh, three quarter number nine expanded metal, which is standard in the industry. If I would use stainless on that, just the grate alone would go from $60 to $500, 480 or something like that. So no, we don't do that. It, I mean, if somebody wanted to pay that price, I'd do it. It's going to be painful, you know, for you. So, I, I, I mean, if you see it in the grate, if you see it in the grate, it's, it's fine anyway. Jeff has storage up front. He has a lot of storage up front. Got some tie down points right here. Uh, also, on Jeff's uh, cooker right here, it has the backflash. Uh, this one here is just a steel backflash, which is an upgrade from the. From the uh, with the creek from just a wire mesh, it's an upgrade, then you got a, another upgrade to stain. This right here, Jeff is going to have line etched, so he will be able to, uh, you know, do that, all that line etched. Now, I think he may even have the whole trailer, right? Yes, sir. So, uh, you've got an airborne thing up here, that's sharp as heck, beautiful, beautiful, I mean, good lord. Got flag holders on here, you can either put flags or umbrellas in there, whatever he wants to do. Huge wood box down through here. And Jeff has the spare tire cover also. And that's what I'm talking about right here. He's got a seat in there right here too. If he wants to sit his backside down when he's cold in the winter and you know what, and get warmed up, he can do it. He can just sit here and chill out. Or if he just wants to sit here and meditate and think, saying, I've got a Shirley, I just love it. He can do that too. So anyway, it's just a great place to sit. Another flag holder, again, this, the shelf right here. Remind me to get you a little old piece of gas in the bureau, put on the bottom of this, Jeff. Cause I don't want to knock the paint off your cooker. Sharp cooker. Both of these cookers are really sharp cookers. Uh, I think you do have the remote grease drain on yours, right? Don't need a remote grease drain on a modified trailer. It would be more aggravating having a 
remote reason I ain't on that. I thought about it. Yeah. I mean, you're going to have to, why not just bring your name open? So it'd be easier to do that. There's something else I'm going to mention on this cooker. So, let me see. Got gas that's on the door here, as all our cookers do. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's about it on this cooker here. It's the the tubing one. that you guys are using now? The what now? The tubing? Yes. yes, yes. We're starting now in our baskets. Instead of using three-quarter tubing, we're using half-inch uh, hot rolled bar. It's it's it's, it's going to last longevity-wise. It's going to be a lot better. It's stronger. I go back and wish in my mind I had a did wish I had done that years ago. Just got to thinking on it. You know, you always thinking in your mind what you know how, what do you want to be how, as far as longevity or something. It's going to last forever. So that's what we've gone to now. It's Styled as heck. I mean, you, it's, it's style, and we like that. It's got a good look to it, and uh, it's just what we're gonna do now. from now on. It's just, just more better. Jeff has a removable tongue on his. We always have LED lighting on all our cookers. Uh, I don't know what else you would want in two different cookers right here. They're just two different styles. Uh, all I can say is they're both beautiful cookers. I mean, you look at one, it's six and one half dozen of the other. If you want to drive a tank. Drive that if you want to drive. I don't know what I'd call it. Aircraft carrier. Yeah, what's that? Aircraft carrier. Drive that. That's right. <laughs> Come over here, Sharon. Come on, Sharon. Come on, Sharon. Come over here, Sharon. I had to call my wife. I had to call her. She's the one that puts up while my yang yang is crying and moaning and all that all day about my hands hurt and I'm not getting nothing done. I'm behind all this. So behind every man, they say behind every every. Good man, which I think I'm a good man, is a good woman. So, you know, I, I have to say something about her and my little dog, old Buster. Come here, Buster. Buster, come here today. Come here. There you go. He, 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 he's the most obedient one I've got. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. But anyway, thank Mark. Thank his wife. I, I can't remember your Jill. Jill. Joe Ellis. I had to look at my saw. I always say if I get Joe's name, but Joe, I got an Ellis saw back there. I remember Joe's name. Uh, but anyway, thank them. They cooked for us last night. We had a great time. God steaks and shrimp. And what else? Pudding, banana pudding, Jeff. Bean, Mark. Insane beans. Uh, but anyway, we just want to thank y'all. Uh, appreciate y'all's business. We just want to do a quick video. Hopefully, we'll be doing more. And uh, this is Paul Sherry Thank you.